Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we continue our discussion on how to learn about web handling. It is not unusual for web handling to be among the top three causes of waste, delay, and customer complaint. Unfortunately, too many people rely primarily on experience to guide their efforts. Yet, success teaches us almost nothing useful other than it can be done. It does not tell us how, or why, or what to do if it can't be done reliably. Failure can be a better way to learn, but you simply do not have enough lifetimes to learn all you should know by that route. Besides, learning on the job is just too expensive. You've heard me say many times that a month in your plant is worth an hour in the library is not a very good trade. It is the sin of reinventing the wheel. Wouldn't it be a shame to struggle with wrinkling and not know there's a whole chapter in a book on the subject? Wouldn't it be a shame to struggle with winding defects and not know there are many chapters and books on the subject? With more than 30 books and 3,000 articles on web handling related subjects, most any question you could ask has already been answered. Still, there are practical problems with books. First and foremost is that very few people have web handling books. For example, only about 1,000 copies have been sold of the must-have role in web defect terminology book that has a whole chapter on wrinkling, yet easily 100,000 people struggle with wrinkles. Also, while we are being honest, who has time to read books anymore? Many just sit on bookshelves as something like an industrial award or trophy. Finally, books do not always provide context. What I mean by that is that they are often a compilation of facts that do not give a structure upon which to build an understanding. Think of games like trivia that puts more value on memory versus games like chess that puts value on experience and strategy. Also in previous clips, we've detailed the serious shortcomings in using a search engine to find web handling information. While this is greatly improved on by using the free for asking Roysom library, you still are left with the previous problems, even when you find an article that you may think is just what you need. By now, many of you will have heard of Web 101 and Web 201. In fact, you are listening to Web 201 right now. It is a compilation of scores of very short YouTube clips in the public domain. It serves a few needs, such as getting beginners started in certain areas. It also serves for more experienced users by covering either niche or advanced topics that are beyond the scope of the typical Web 101 classes. Still, while free, these do not serve to provide anything remotely like training. It is an incomplete and unorganized collection of topics that do not provide context. If you are in the business of making, buying, or selling webs, you owe it to yourself and your company to go to school on web handling, such as my trademarked Web 101. Over 5,000 students have taken this two-day course, and it is one of the most popular in our web industries. You will get a solid and complete foundation for a dozen must-know areas such as rollers, tension controls, nips, guiding, spreading, wrinkling, winding, and so on. This foundation will provide context upon which to support future experiences and future learning. The final big difference between the material is that Web 101 is not free. You would need to go to school at a public venue, in your plant, and now as video on demand. However you do it, this is something you almost certainly need if you've already stumbled upon this Web 201 YouTube clip and have not already taken Web 101. In short, while there may be many ways to learn about web handling topics, Web 101 will be your best way to learn the subject of web handling as a foundation for working with webs.
Finally, you might consider bringing in a consultant, especially if the issue is complex or costly. I know this advice might seem self-serving. I know you are thinking consultants are a nuisance in more than a few ways. Finally, you've undoubtedly heard of consultants screwing things up even worse than your own people. Still, a good consultant matched to the right problem can really speed up the troubleshooting process as well as make it more reliable. Even so, going to school before or after the visit is still a great idea. Most likely, your company will be making webs for your lifetime and then some. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for more clips on web handling topics. You can find the entire set on the All Web Handling channel or by typing DR Roysom into the search engine.